Good morning, Commissioner and ladies and gentlemen. It gives me pleasure to present this message of support to the South African Human Rights Commission on the occasion of the launch of your social media charter. This initiative by the Commission to introduce a social media charter as a guide to help users to navigate their way in cyberspace safely, lawfully and responsibly is indeed commendable and it is a most welcome intervention. Social media engagement is now a way of life. It is a global phenomenon which makes it easy and convenient to connect with others both near and in far-flung lands. The power of having access and interconnectedness with the entire world in the palm of your hand sometimes brings a false sense of anonymity and invincibility that impacts on how people engage on social media platforms, sometimes with dire consequences. This can be reduced if each individual has an understanding and appreciation of the appropriate ways to conduct oneself on these platforms. The exponential growth of social media has been matched, if not surpassed, regrettably by the growth of cybercrime, cyberbullying and other forms of social ills that seriously impinge on, impinge on human rights, including, and some could argue, disproportionately affecting women and children's human rights. Our experience from cases relating to issues such as hate speech, racism, or other various forms of cyberbullying that reach our desks reflect a concerning growing trend of disturbing online behavior. This may sometimes be reflective of ignorance about what constitute appropriate and decent behavior on social media platforms in a manner that does not infringe on other persons' constitutional rights and freedoms. International research refers to a phenomenon called cyber feminism, where cyberspace is described as a liberating space for women to express themselves or another medium to be used for the oppression of women. So in the context of International Women's Day that was recognized just a week ago, it is relevant to understand to what extent Gender bias for cyberbullying perpetration and victimization is an issue for which this social media charter can provide useful guidance and insights. We trust that this charter will result in heightened awareness and will provide guidance on appropriate, responsible and respectful behavior on social media platforms. We very much welcome the launch also during Human Rights Month when our country recognizes and celebrates human rights. This initiative is a step in the right direction and it is hoped will be transformative in nature, moving us towards kindness and respect in cyberspace. I thank you.